It's a beautiful sunny day here today on the coast of Kent in England and so I thought I'm gonna walk from Westgate on sea towards Margate because there's just endless stretches of beach and beautiful colorful beach huts in England and so I'm gonna take you along show you around and see what happens let's go Right now I'm in St. Mildred's Bay, which you can see isn't too crowded even though it's a Sunday and it's such a beautiful day. So it's a good day trip from London if you want to see beaches near London and enjoy. Just do some bathing, do swimming, you can do hiking along the shore. There are like lots of ways you can combine different bays in Kent and yeah, just enjoy a day out from London because it gets really busy and crowded and stuffy and here you can breathe in the fresh salty air. It's good for your health too. What I find particularly charming here in St. Mildred's Bay in Westgate on Sea are the different kind of style beach huts along the British coasts. There is just these two colored ones in classic blue and yellow. And then there's some more with red and over there are all kinds of different colors very individual then i should write a blog post so subscribe to be up to date on that and also subscribe to the blog because that's where the information is they just touch some bird poop fun i always bring hand sanitizer for you uh, Over there is Margate and this is Westbrook Bay. We have a couple more beach huts. Yes. You know, such a walk from Westgate on Sea to Margate it actually takes like half an hour, but it shouldn't take that slow because you really need to just chill out and enjoy the entire trip and views, which is uh, yeah, why you should plan a day trip from London just to spend the afternoon by the sea. Just do nothing really, just fine. I love it. <laughs> To get to Westgate on Sea or Margate, there are multiple options of getting here. You can just drive out here, of course, or you can take the bus. There are multiple possibilities, mostly uh, National Express from Victoria Station in London, for instance. It took me two and a half hours to get here because of traffic. Usually it's a bit faster and the more in advance you book, the cheaper it gets. Same with train. If you book it way in advance, you can get pretty decent tickets. If you book a last minute off, you just rock up at the train station. Of course, you get the regular price, which is between 30 to 40 pounds uh, for various destinations along the coast here in Kent. And then you can plan your trip and be really flexible. If you just want to wing it, of course, it's more expensive. If you want to plan in advance, it's much, much too cheaper. And then you can also check all the different bus schedules to do some beach hopping, really, which I didn't want to do today because it's just so nice. I just want to wing it. Behind me is Margate Main Sands, where you can see people chilling on a beach on their towels or just enjoying a beach walk in Margate. cool i happen to chance upon a market that happens every second sunday of the month which is a creative market here in margate and you can buy handmade jewelry and clothes and paintings and that's pretty cool and they're playing vintage music where you can dance <laughs> yes. 
And if you feel like you want to have a bath, but you don't want to brave the waves of the ocean, you can just jump into the pool here in Margate by the shore and enjoy the tranquil waters and it's quite shallow. While there isn't that much to do in Westgate on Sea in Margate, you can do quite a few things. Not a lot, but a few, such as going to theme park, going to Dreamland if you want to have fun, especially with kids. Or you can go to the Shell Grotto, which is a very interesting kind of tunnel, which is entirely decked with shells, and nobody really knows why or where it came from, but it's beautiful nonetheless. I hope you like my little video about some beaches in Kent with a lot of colorful beach huts on the British coast uh, as a day trip from London. And uh, stick around for more videos because I'm publishing videos every week. You can see them on Facebook or on YouTube. So subscribe, follow, and enable notifications so you will actually see it. Otherwise, you might get buried in your feed and we don't want that. And check out the blog posts which I published on the subject down in the comments below or just go to www.travelonthebrain.net where there's tons of travel information for visiting England. Check that out. I hope to see you soon. Stay travel-tastic and bye.